Thanks, David. Yeah. Uh, I previously had known any of the band's records. It's not kind of the music I'm into, but I bought, in preparation for the interview, a second-hand copy for really cheap. It was great <laughs> at, at right. Ali Daly at a second-hand record dealer. Yeah, right. And I think that it's really pretty good. And you're playing on that record's pretty good. Yeah. Um, I I didn't play on that record. That was yeah. That was a that was a quite that was a few years before I joined the band. Yes, you did. No, I don't. Last I checked, wasn't me. Right, that's weird. Look, David. I mean, if you could be really honest with yourself, yeah. What do you think you contribute to the to the band, in general? And it's a two part question, so please don't answer yeah. But then, what you contribute to this record? But first of all, what what do you think you contribute, musically, and personally to the to the band to the band you are on? You know, aside from. Uh, Playing a bit of guitar and just to, you know, and, and one of the, the quarters of the group that kind of bounce ideas off each other. And but surely there's more. If you want me to, to delve kind of deeper. Well, I bit. do. <laughs> um, I mean, the guys in the band, you know, the, the older members speak no, of you so not, fondly. My, you know, love for those guys is. Has that love ever crossed over? Into some kind of, you know, a little, something a little more, a little unexpected. Um, no? No, nothing untoward. Touring's no. very boring. You know, you get into a certain NUI while touring, mm. you know, and things can happen. But if you want to tell yeah, me. Are you though, implying anything specific or? Oh, no, no, no. Don't get me wrong. Don't get angry at me. All right, I can see you're uncomfortable, so I'm going to leave that alone. I wanted to ask you, it's a one part question, but about what, what you brought musically apart from playing guitar, do you think that you have any influence over the way that songs are, are written before they come to the studio? Uh, I think we're all on the same page as far as what we all love, but um, uh, musically, and um, I'm not sure exactly what you mean. I think when uh, Tim writes a song, it's usually, I mean, you know, it's probably bad, best to ask him about about this, but he, um, when he brings a song to to us, it's usually pretty fleshed out, and we. So um, it's not like a skeleton, a, as in a skeleton of a song. And, and we you, form the meat. The well, rest I'm, of us. I'm thinking more the vital organs. Um, I mean, what I've seen, you know, on the website, and if you, I've never seen the band live. Right. You know, yeah. It's yeah. just sort of not my thing. But yeah. You're, you're very Each aggressive, own. like you like really rock and roll, you know, um, and uh, you know, like you like you kind of. Do you think a, it's a, a little bit, bit of a rock cliche star? Cliche or well, or <laughs> I mean, not everyone. Obviously, some people still like it, but you know, that's that's fine. But you know, you're kind of like rock starry. So I'm wondering. I I don't I don't um, I don't know. Like uh, maybe it was it, you you like the work of. Radiohead and Elbow, is that kind of more? I just like, I mean, man, there's no reason to get angry at me. I'm just, that's just what I like. I like music that kind of oh, is, no, tries a little no. bit, try, just tries a little bit harder. But when you play live, I mean, and it's very excitable, and there's a lot of sweat, and it seems very aggressive. And Well, how do you know? Well, I've seen some YouTube clips. Oh. You're talking about creating art, and by calling a record dilettante. How does that mix with the, the kind of, the, the, you know, the ferocity and all the sweat and the you know the this arm swinging thing and jumping up and down and you know trashing sets and how, how does that work? Does it does it conflute? Is there a confluence between the art and the the kind of you know rock and roll aggressiveness thing? Do you know, do you understand? Kind of, yeah Katie? yeah um yeah I'm sorry I know you 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 um trying to confuse me somewhat but I'm not trying to confuse you. It's just if what I say is confusing. That's yeah well. Um, all right. Um, I don't know. I think that's just all, all, all we kind of know had, all we kind of know to do, and that's all, all we kind of loved since we were, we're all, we're all kind of kids, and it might seem like kind of post all posturing to you possibly, but uh -oh. I'm not accusing you of posturing. I mean, you know, while we're kind of talking about the music and the creation of it, and the making music as art, can I ask you, what were the strokes like?
Really? No one else seemed yeah. to answer that either, but that's okay. That's okay. I mean, if there's, you know, some bad blood. Nah, I don't, I don't know. Like, probably best, best to ask someone who's kind of seen them. In the last kind of six years that since we toured with them, I don't know. Like, I'd... Okay. My last question, David. All right. How do you, do you feel um, confident with this record that you've achieved what you set out to do yourself? and as a member of a band? I think so. I'm insanely proud, as, as is my, as Tim, Andy and Russ would be, as I know they are. I'm going into kind of, uh, kind of letting go of this record and having everybody here and um, with, with a great sense of confidence. Right. Well, it's really nice to meet you, David. Yeah. So. Give up, get back, get the fucking romance, okay.